Hi guys, this is Kidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Now, in this part, we're going to be kicking the full moon boss's ass, and we're going to be assembling our party. Our party is going to be consisting of me, of course, um, Yukari. Why did I say me? Of course I mean Minato. <laughs> I don't I'm not the person to project myself onto the main characters. What am I thinking? It's going to be Minato, Yukari, Mitsuru, and Aegis. Uh, no coincidence that they're all girls. I mean, it's an incredible coincidence. So here's all the armor I have on them. Um, you know, much, much thought went into this, sort of, kind of, not really. I just equipped what seemed best at the moment. Um, uh, the reason I'm using all of them is because... That's a good question. <laughs> uh, they have multi-hit moves, which is nice, and they're both healers, and I want to use it, I guess. So what else would reason would I need? Um, there's not really anything I can have for I guess at the moment, so all I gave her was a good accessory. So that's going to be my team. Um, I must say that the music is like kicking right now. <laughs> very excited. Um, speaking of being very excited, oh my gosh, those Persona announcements. I am freaking out right now, but I can talk about that on some other moment in time. Uh, right now, I must say, uh, those were her stats. As you can see, I'll explain her more in battle when she's actually in battle. Um, so now I guess it's not really Fuka we're talking about. Um, to, we have to just go down here. Usually you talk to Fuka to commence the operation, but guess not this time. This time is different. This time, we're actually going to be in a dungeon that's not Tartarus. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, if you could even call it dungeon. I also gave Minato a long, um, a long sword. I'm not sure why. I think the whole reason behind it was that it gave them plus two strength. And I'm not really going to be using my sword at all this time. Um, I made... Evade Elect, that's a good thing for not Minato to have, more like Yukari if they wear the same footwear. Or Aegis, which I know for a fact they don't wear the same footwear, because Aegis wears robot feet and it's weird. Um, <laughs> she wears legs, entire legs. It's She doesn't really have a, you know, um, the same armor that all the other human people do. But anywho, yes, now here we go, I guess that's the reality of war, yeah, 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 blah blah blah. We're 21 meters underground, whatever happened to 10 meters underground? Blah. So, anywho, um, as you're going down here, you are going to encounter some shadows. If you're, um, <laughs> here's some uh, retrospective advice, don't fight them. In fact, don't be wearing a long sword either. Because I'm not, I, I'm not at all used to using long swords to come to attacking enemies, and every single weapon has like a different way of attacking enemies. And long swords take a little longer to swing than, you know, the regular run-of-the-mill sword, which kind of throws me off incredibly. And also trying to avoid enemies. What I've learned, it's impossible to avoid enemies in long, long, narrow corridors, narrow places like this. Um, so now we have to fight some dice. Notice anything bullshit about these dice? How they're using Marin Karn? <laughs> and Sexy Dance? <laughs> and why? Why did that happen? This is not a good way to enter the boss. Everyone is charmed right now, and they're still doing sexy gents. Just to screw with me, I guess, I'm assuming. Um, so that's not nice in the slightest. They could be attacking me. I don't think these guys even have an attacking move. I think they're just like, you know, they're just here to charm you and have everyone kill each other. <laughs> and more dioraming. That's not a good idea. So, you know, if only Minato would actually come to his senses so I can run away... Doesn't look like that's going to happen at all, though. And these guys are just getting more healed for something they don't need. And Minato, you know, of course, being goddamn Minato, is really good at killing other people. <laughs> I got a swift strike. Oh, she came back to her senses. Goody. Now, if only I could tell her to run away. I don't like that works. And she is right once again charmed. Why is that so accurate? Why did that happen every single time? It's ridiculous. At least in this game, you can only have one status um, de status debuff at a time, which is nice. Okay, and you know what's you know what's getting old, really, really, really fast is uh these bastards. So hopefully um you know people can stop killing each other, and Minato can come back to his senses, and I can get the hell out of here. <laughs> so yeah, that was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> not a good way to start off the boss fight. I mean, the, the, the dungeon thing level. We're gonna use Midaya. Um, I also gave Minato um, something I bought off Tanaka's channel, like the Mage's Mark or something like that. It gives me Invigorate, 
which is nice. Having recharging SP is like the best thing ever. Not so much in this game. Well, no, I mean it's nice in every game, but it's even nicer. <sighs> it's even nicer in um, Persona 4. But anywho's, uh, yeah, I guess I guess is weak to lightning spells, and she's gonna explain how Orgia mode works. That's right. Um, no, thank you. Oh, or yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, it's an, you can. It's basically she makes herself stronger for a few turns, and after those few turns, she burns out and she can't attack for a while. Um, that's just the basis of it. You, you yeah. I, I, t I have never once used it. I'm pretty sure. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll make it an effort to actually use it in this playthrough, because it can be useful in certain situations, you just gotta make sure you plan ahead about that, because, you know, she will burn out, and then that will suck. And I'm not sure if you can use it more than once per battle. Again, I've never really tried using it, so I wouldn't know at all. But here we are at the boss fight. I didn't actually use our GMO during the boss fight, that would have actually been a good idea. Except I didn't. Um, so anywho, here is the boss fight. It is of... Well, I don't even know. Who knows what it is? I mean, following the list, it should be of... I'm not following the Arcana list at all. <laughs> I couldn't eat either. Ah, uh, who cares? Well, they'll, they'll tell me in a few seconds. Right, Puka? What was I saying about Igus? That's right. She's weak to lightning, just like Yukari. Yeah, oh no, it's both. <laughs> Does it matter is a bigger question. Um, so here's the boss fight. It has 3,000 HP. And I don't think it has any weaknesses, so you can just do whatever the hell you want on it, which I will. We will just be doing whatever the hell we want on it. And, um, this is actually an example of me being really, really overcautious in a boss fight that I really don't have to be overcautious on. Um, because it is actually kind of easy. <laughs> sort of. Um, I'm gonna put Yukari... I'm gonna put Yukari on, uh... On healing detail. Simply because, uh, I'm just afraid of dying. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, just do that right now. And then I can use Getsue, because Getsue does a ton of damage right now, especially with my ton of damage Orthus and my ton of damage Full Moon. 123 damage, again, that's nothing too shabby. It's like, you know, that's, that's out of the 3,000 HP that he has, he'll be dead within, like, you know, at the least 30 turns. <laughs> okay, so, you know, more than that, except because all three of us are doing damage. Let's say we do like 300 damage per turn, he'll be dead in like 10 turns, sort of, if that sort of works. And I'm kind of really hoping that Yukari would just, um, you know, fix herself with that poison, hopefully. Um, and missing, that's never fun. And she does, thank god for someone, <laughs> for a smart AI this time. Um, so I might as well explain how Igus plays. Igus is tip mainly a physical attacker, she, you, she ha- oh, yeah. Uh, Kill Rush can hit two times, which is absolutely awesome. And after a while, he'll use Separate, which is actually this boss to this boss's disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. So that fixes your riddle now, doesn't it? Oh no! You mean they get to use they get to use two attacks in one turn? <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> That's still kind of insignificant. Okay, so the way this boss works is it has 300 total HP, and then when it separates, it, like, splits up its HP in half. So each of these entities have, um, 1500 HP. You have to make sure that you kill them both relatively at the same time, because if you let one live and it gets a chance to move, it's gonna use, um, Summon Recarm on the other one, and that's gonna elongate the boss fight to something you don't want to elongate it to. And I guess it's resistant to Pierce, so that did next to nothing. Um... So you wanna, so you wanna make sure you kill them evenly. What makes it, what makes this boss fight really like, you know, joke a joke, is that um, well not really a joke, is that what the AI, what your AI tends to do is use the moss spells, which attacks both of them, which means technically because they share HP, technically, it does a lot of debt, like twice as much damage as it normally will do. And when that happens. When freaking Kill Rush or whatever Swift Strike attacks twice for both enemies, you just did 240 damage, and you know, I guess is awesome. Speaking of I guess, because I can't seem to, you know, keep my um, train of thought, 
is that I guess is um, knows all the physical moves. She has you know all the physical attacks. She'll have the strike attacks, the slash attacks, and the pierce attacks. I think. Don't hold me up to that. I know she has the fit strike attack, um, slash attacks. Um, and she also has all the buffs. She'll have all the um, Suku Kajas, the Taru Kajas, and the Raku Kajas. So she's very cool for support, and she's very cool, cool for actual physical attacking. So I, I really like to use her as a unit. The fact that she's resistant to Pierce always helps, like, you know, for those weird-ass instances where bosses are, you know, use Pierce attacks, like this one time. But she's resist she's weak to lightning, which, um, or electricity, like Yukari. And because I always typically have Yukari in my party, having two um, characters weak to lightning yeah, can screw things over. But speaking, of, speaking of screwing things over, this guy is almost dead and a critical hit, another 244 damage, and that's... <laughs> God! If, that, if he did that on Minato, I would be dead right now, so I can't really say this is an easy boss fight because look at that, that was just a horrible stroke of bad luck. Um, but anywho, he's almost dead, uh, luckily. When you, when you bring down his HP to zero, it will split up. Um, and all these guys have like one HP, so all you have to do is make sure you hit them, and it kills both of them. Luckily, Yukari actually hit him instead of using like heal or something, because that would have been horrible. <laughs> but luckily, the AI was actually smart, so awesome. 5,001 HP. The fact that that's 5,001 makes me believe that I'm like, I think I might be under leveled. I don't know. I hope not. Like, typically, if you get, like, because um, you get less XP when you're at the right level, so you think, like, yeah. the ideal level, you'd get 5,000 EXP. That happens in um, Paper Mario a lot, where you get, like, 31 star Good points, and it's like, oh, was I supposed to get 30? Was I under-leveled for this? That happens a lot when I play the game. Oh, what about the other guy? You didn't mention him? There are two of them, if you didn't notice. Don't be so rude. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, they were watching us. That was spooky. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a uh, no, just creepy stuff. Huh? Oh, I guess that's a I guess that's a clue. Should we look it up online? <laughs> Will Google have the answer to that one? Who knows? I'll see what I can find Okay, Okutsuki. Thank you. I have one final thing to And also yes, they're stuck. Now Now we can actually start worrying about that. Come on, you have, like, persona oh, powers. You can see. bust out of a door Since easily, right? I'll send over as soon as really? Who? Who else could possibly do that? Sorry, <laughs> I guess after the dark hour and people are back, like, hey, people are stuck in this, like, Other underground percent. place, and they'll be like, why the hell are they there? And like, yeah, no reason. But anywho, we beat another full moon. That was over quicker than, you know, normal. <laughs> which is, Which is fine for me. I don't mind that at all. The less dying I'm doing during full moons, the less crazy amount of cutscenes I'll have to watch again. You can't skip cutscenes in this game. Well, you can't skip the dialogue cutscenes in this game. Which I don't really, I don't mind, I wouldn't want to skip them, but I mean, like, you know, when you've seen them once again, it can kind of get annoying. But, who cares? Because we're tired. <laughs> That's right, I'm not tired, I'm amped right now. You might, you almost couldn't tell that just because of how I normally talk. But, oh my gosh, more Persona stuff. That's just awesome. Um, so anywho, now we're back to the daily grind. It's, um, back to summer. We have nothing to do. Um, so yeah, all we had to do was hang out with little girls. That's, that I, that came out slightly creepy. <laughs> but let's do just that. Maiko, how are things going in your realm? You're not going to cram school. Ho ho ho, you little maverick. Um... This is going to be a non-social link rank up thing. It's just going to be hangout time, which is fine because we have absolutely nothing to do during um, during the summer. I mean, we could hang out with the other social links that are fallbacks, but why do that? It, it would do the exact same thing. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And what's up? Oh, hey, Ken. Is are you the only one here, or is everyone upstairs ignoring you, like jerks? <laughs> Isn't that odd? How could they all get better at the exact same time? It's almost like we did something. Haha, <laughs> like Ken-kun would never know, right? 
Um, so here we are at the Velvet Room. Now that we, the full moon has passed, um, there's a bunch of new stuff we can do. First of all, I'm going to do the fourth, second date, third date with Elizabeth. And I'm going to accept that. And here's all the um, dungeon Tartarus stuff that will not take just yet. We'll do that once we actually get into Tartarus. I still have to find that bronze medal. Haven't done that yet. But just so you know, there's some more stuff to do. Just making sure there's not any of them that have like specific deadlines that are going to clip me. And um, today is Friday, so we could be hanging out with the monk. But because we're not level 31 yet, we cannot actually make a tower arcana. And because it'd be a waste of time to actually do that without a tower arcana, I'm just going to be doing this thing where I'm increasing my persona speed. That's what the punching bag does. I think I still have Orthus equipped, so my Orthus is getting better and better. Even though it doesn't really have any moves, like some any elemental moves, which is sort of really damn important when it comes to going to Tartarus. But that doesn't matter, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Right now, Dark Hour stuff, what could it be? Obviously, if we see Pharos! Hi, awesome, Pharos. Here to tell me how great of a job I've been doing? <laughs> I hope so, because we're buds. I remembered something Ooh, what do you remember? The end won't be brought about by anyone in particular. Okay. It's coming because there are many people who wish that makes me feel as if it was destined from the better <laughs> doesn't that seem like a strange thing to it wish totally for? is Pharos. not really no one wants that um okay not really I guess it's not I can see how a bunch of people would do that yeah otherwise one might end up hating everything you say that very cheerfully <laughs> it's almost kind of funny oh okay there's something else I wanted to tell Ooh, you. Ooh, what is it, Pharos? That we're friends? Social link, social link, social link. Soon, the poisonous flowers, poisonous flowers, huh? That seems like a very weird three ass prediction. In your own garden, and three in the garden That's even place. weirder. One in my own garden. Are you suggesting that Junpei is gonna to defect to the end, dark side? Or maybe careful. not. Maybe oh, well I I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe it, it refers to uh, that's that that'd be my guess if I've never had Persona experience. But I even even though I have played the game, I have no idea what this kid is talking about. Sort of, I have some idea. But poisonous flowers, huh? One in my own garden, so that means someone on my group is going to be a poisonous flower. Whatever the hell that means is beyond me. And then three others, and there happens to be three members in Strega. Oh. But no, I have... <laughs> Again, I have no clue. Um, this is all just speculation. And this is honest speculation. Like, it's not just me like being like, Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Like, I, I'm legitimately curious about what the hell he just said. Anywho, we got our custom ringtone from Elizabeth. So, she's telling us that the years, um... The Tartarus blockade is now back in... So now Tartarus is back in business, and now we can totally die. <laughs> because I am not prepared for that in the slightest. Um, do I? I hope I at least have money. That'd be a good thing to have. But summer vacation continues. Am I actually going to Tartarus today? I'm not too sure. Well, obviously not in the daytime because there's such valuable stuff you can be doing in the daytime. Oh, oh, people want to talk to me. It's me, Mitsuru. I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, except we're not. But can I have a word What's up, Mitsuru? Coming, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing really else to do. We can't really hang out with the hermit because we maxed the hermit already. Hey, how is it? There's something I need to tell everyone, but I think it would be best if you saw it for oh, yourself. Oh, no, I'm curious. Come to the fourth floor. Oh, yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> I'm remembering now. We're not going to Tartarus today, I don't think. Maybe we are. Probably not. What we are doing today is hanging out with Maiko some more because you know, she said she was gonna run away, so now we gotta see her up to that. Um. It's not Sunday, so no. No TV today. So, Maiko, what's up? I was waiting for you. Okay, awesome. <laughs> she can't run away until she... without our help, because we're irresponsible people like that. Who cares? We're getting a social link out of it. Who is the ultimate persona for the hangman? I'm drawing a blank there. Uh, I'll get to that later. <laughs> Um, yep, yeah, I gotta run away. It's about time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. Oh, I'll definitely be telling your parents, because what you don't understand is this is... This isn't gonna last very long, Maiko, with your you know, childish, whimsical mind. Oh, is that her mom? That was really quick. She just left the screen, I swear. She was... <laughs> she was there like two seconds ago. Or maybe time passed and we're just not aware of it. 
Calm down and think now. Oh. oh, down. Now I can see their parents fighting in action. And things get even more depressing. This is what happens when you force a child to study non-stop. Oh. So, what's that a thing? Oh, they begun shouting. Um, is, is this really... Should you really be talking about this right now? Oh, cool. She talked about us? Um... Okay. I think that's slightly creepy. <laughs> I mean, not really creepy. Oh, really? Her mom didn't hear about it, but her dad was seemed to be okay with it. Oh, I see. I can I, I sort of see where this is going. Mom's the mean one, and Dad's the incredibly cruise one. <laughs> That's neat. Yeah, look at her. Look at him. Just like, oh, okay. Stop. Well, he did hit her. So, you know, that is sort of kind of uh, sketch. Um, we haven't seen her since this morning. Ooh, no, that's not good. I'm running away. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Don't mince words, huh? Really? Yeah. She, I guess it's probably your fault. This is the one time I can finally say that. <laughs> is that uh, every any time I said it to Maiko, that would have just been a horrible statement. But you know, guys, your arguing isn't helping at all. Listen, son. What? Yeah, I'm. Um, where could she be? The music store. Why the hell would she be at the music store? Is she secretly musical a connoisseur? That'd be news to me. Um. Okay, so we're going to the takoyaki stand. She's gonna be like Minato. What the hell? You ratted one. In reality, it's for the best. So, we gotta make sure we do that. So, touching moment ahead? Maybe. No! Happy moment. Joy. That's the name of this track, in case you were looking for it. Because <laughs> I know I looked for this for unreasonably a long amount of time. It's called Joy, and the Persona 4 equivalent is like a dream come true. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. I like the I like the soundtrack of that. I like the entire soundtrack of all the Persona games. They're just all fantastic. Any Shin Megami Tensei game, actually. To me, more broad... Shimigami Ten I know I'm going on this incredibly un, <laughs> un um, totally unrelated tangent, but Shimigami Tensei has like the best soundtrack ever. Like soundtracks ever. And Maiko's yelling Maiko's mom is yelling at Maiko. And Maiko's dad is telling yelling at Maiko's mom for yelling at Maiko. And then Maiko's Maiko's yelling at both of them for yelling at each other, I guess. And don't you realize what stress you're bringing through this kid? Um, yeah. Now she feels all sad. Oh, so this is what all it's about, really? You're that, you're that, you know, <laughs> dense about it? Come on. I'm not sure what to say. I'm sorry we pulled you through this. Are we going to get a social link with you guys? Huh? What you going to say, Mai? I told you to keep it a secret. Oh, uh, whoopsie. But thank you. Yes, it all worked out in the end. And that's all that matters. Um, so then... That's good. Your relationship is stronger now. What level is this, actually? And what more can happen? This was sort of like the climax of the social link, I guess you could say. Um, so now it's just catharsis for four points. Because <laughs> we are at rank seven. Oh, no, we're at seven. Oh, we're further than the, into this thing than I thought we were. We're almost maxed. Only three more conversations. And like 20 more meetings, because Maiko is such a hard social link to do. <laughs> but anywho, that's irrelevant now. And the next part... We will be doing whatever meeting um, Mitsuru is talking about. So now let's all conjure up at the fourth floor, as you can see. So the next part, we'll be talking. Tell them this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!